What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are finally going to be showcasing this free to play Easy A Piccolo at 100% in the potential system. And honestly, before I even get started, I just want to say that I have very, very high expectations for this guy right here. By the way, if you're an OG and watch me for a while, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new video format. It's basically a modified version of my live streaming setup. And I'll be honest, it does allow me to record these videos a little bit easier and also bring you the news a little bit faster. But of course, I place a ton of importance on your opinions. If you guys don't like it, I'll go back to my original format. If you do like it, then we'll stick with this for the foreseeable future. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's take a quick look at this guy before we jump to the showcase. His leader skill gives Namekians key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%. He also gives AGL types key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%, so really not a great AGL leader. His super attack causes supreme damage and raises his defense by 30% for one turn. And his passive gives him attack and defense plus 60%, as well as an additional 12% attack and plus two key for every rainbow sphere obtained. And when conditions are met, he will assimilate, which basically just means after four turns have passed, on the fifth turn that he will transform into Piccolo Fuse with Nail. As far as his hidden potential skills go, give him five combo attack or additional and 15 critical. Everything else is pretty standard. His links are Z Fighters, Experienced Fighters, Namekians, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Gaze of Respect, and Shattering the Limit. Actually pretty solid links for a free to play unit, especially Shocking Speed and Shattering the Limit, which will help him a lot in getting those super attacks off. He has three categories, Namekians, Planet Namek Saga, and Resurrected Warriors. And honestly, Namekians right now is a joke of a category. I can't even put together a full team to showcase. So we're gonna go with a Resurrected Warriors team for today's showcase. So let's take a quick look at his assimilation. So his super attack and his passive change. So for his super attack, he will still cause supreme damage, but he also raises his defense by 30% for three turns as opposed to one turn. And as far as his passive goes, he will heal for 30% the first time that he transforms. And also his attack and defense will go up by 70% now, and he will get an additional 15% attack plus three key, and also heal for 18,000 HP for every rainbow key sphere obtained. So this becomes absolutely monstrous after transformation. He was already good before, but he just becomes absolutely amazing after the transformation. Hopefully we'll get to see that today in the showcase. All right, so this is the team. These are the items. Let's just get right into it. I brought the Tech Tapion because he changes strength spheres into rainbow spheres. So that will help buff the Piccolo a little bit more. And we're going to start this fight off with the SSJ for Goku. And I thought this would be good because he does have a lot of STR stages, or at least his last couple stages are STR. So he got a little bit of type advantage there, but right now we have no type advantage, which is okay. Here we go. And uh, I think that actually, does this guy... Oh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so Cooler actually gives him a ton of keys, so we're going to stick with that for now. And try to get a few more rainbow spheres for him. Let's see. He gets two here and two here, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll go with this one. So right now he would be getting 24% attack plus an additional like four key, which don't really make a difference because he already had full key to start with. But um, yeah, let's just see what happens here. 948k though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I actually did not see that coming at all. I did not see that coming. Um, I knew he was gonna be strong. But that is actually a really, really impressive attack stat right off the bat. But of course, he gets the 30% from the cooler here, um, who's really just here for support. He's not going to do much damage at all. And Piccolo will probably finish this. Or Piccolo. I just, I just called Majin Vegeta Piccolo. <laughs> Majin Vegeta will finish this stage off. We're going to move on to the next one right here. And we have this great ape. All right, perfect. So I'm going to quickly... I'm going to try not to take too many of these rainbow spheres. So we can take those ones, but you know, it's kind of out of my control sometimes. So that's perfect. We didn't take any of those and ooh, okay. I, I, I'm just really hoping that these guys don't finish off. Don't finish, finish off the great ape here so that we can actually see Piccolo do some nice damage on the next turn. Um, but for those of you who aren't really aware, basically the most number of key sphere or rainbow key spheres you can obtain on one turn is five. So at most, in a non-transform state, Piccolo will be able to get the 5 times 12, which would be 60% uh, attack boost plus an additional 10 key. And then when he transforms, he'll actually be able to get an additional, oh man, mental math, 75% attack 
and plus 15 key at the maximum if you get five rainbow spheres which is hard enough as it is so we might not be able to see that today but i'm gonna try my best to make it happen let's see uh that's three that is two okay we'll do three yeah we'll go with three for this one and maybe on the next rotation or maybe in the next fight i'll try to get him linked up with tapion so that every turn when tapion comes he can change those spheres or the sdr spheres into rainbow spheres and then you know pick a look and pick those up oh man <laughs> oh man 1.3 mil no crit whatsoever that's nice guys that, that's really nice i wouldn't say he's as good as vegeto blue like lr vegeto blue as far as free to play units go because Vegito Blue is still still reigns at the top as the best free-to-play unit. I know some people are going to be like, yo, Tiger, he's not even like that free-to-play or whatever. I'm not going to get into that debate in today's video. I'm just going to say that he is the best free-to-play unit. It's going to probably hold that crown for quite some time. Actually, LR Meta Cooler. LR Meta Cooler is really good too, but honestly, I haven't really had a chance to play with him because I mainly play global and he hasn't come to global yet, so I can't really attest that that. But as far as, ooh, oh, that's so sick. Okay, so I believe four turns had just passed. So on the fifth turn right now, Piccolo just transformed. And that's such a cool transformation. But yeah, um, as far as global goes, LR Vegito Blue is the best free-to-play unit. But I think Piccolo might be close, man. I think Piccolo might be close. We got one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 five. We got a perfect five lineup right here. Okay, this is exciting. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So this is the maximum amount of attack boost that Piccolo can get because five is the most, like the biggest, the highest number of rainbow spheres you can get on a single turn. So you got 75%, 1.15 mil, and he's gonna get a crit off. He's gonna get a nice crit off. Come on, come on. Yo, that's super attack though. That's super attack animation though, 1.3 mil. No crit, it would've been absolutely fire as a critical. But yo, how can you even, you can't even say anything about that. He just took that super from Goku for 2,000. He took a, he took a super from the transformed the last stage of super saiyan 4 goku for 2000 damage that's pretty impressive guys like i said in the beginning of this showcase before i even did anything i knew that we were going to see something impressive and i think that piccolo is living up to those expectations like absolutely living up to those expectations and we're going to finish him off right here this is a pretty fast fight i mean it's pretty to be expected oh no okay okay I, I took him out of rotation. I took the Tapion out of rotation, but you know what? We'll just get when he comes back. We'll just link him up with the uh, with the with the with the Piccolo, and I think I think I mean that's what originally what I was going for anyway. So we're okay. I just freaked out for a second, but yeah, um, we knew that Resurrected Warriors was gonna clear the stage really fast anyways because it is a very very high damage team. But look at that man. We took we took care of Goku in like. I don't know, what was it, like a couple minutes? Three, three, four minutes at most? That, that was good. And Piccolo really, really showed out there. Like he I honestly did. Okay, let's see what he can do against this Vegeta here. Um, three rainbow, three rainbow is good for me. And uh, we'll just give these guys whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna keep these, I'm gonna keep these STR spears because you want him to try, actually no. Vegeta's dead this turn, it doesn't even matter, okay. Over a mil, over a mil attack set, and he's gonna go for 1.69 mil. Jeez, wow. Okay, guys, <laughs> he might not be good. Like the dynamic, not in the Mechian category, might suck. It might be horrible. But on a resurrected category, a resurrected warriors category team, um, this this Piccolo is a monster. He is a monster. Wow. And we didn't really get to see him heal yet because. You know, we haven't really needed him to heal because these these fights are just aren't hard enough for, for us to need to heal up. But think about on a, on a, like a harder boss, right? Maybe like a new category boss. Um, I don't know. Maybe like the boss rush six that's coming that's coming out soon. It's actually coming out in like the time of this recording in about a week, in about seven days. So on that stage, when the boss is a little bit harder, you got things like Harudengarn and I don't know Vegito Blue and Rose. In that case, having that heal might actually be really clutch. Like having him on your team might be really, really clutch and save you when when you need it most. So, man, this guy's just awesome. Like <laughs> I, I can't say enough nice things about him. Okay, uh, so I believe Tapion and Piccolo actually share the Brainiac's link, which gives them how much attack again? Let me let me take a quick look here. 
10%, okay, 10% attack and defense. So, as far as attack links go, I think that's the best case scenario for a team like this, because you're not gonna be throwing a bunch of like random people that have like Z fighters and stuff like that. So this is the best case scenario as far as having attack links activated on Piccolo. So we're gonna give him these orbs here. That is a total of 36% attack boost because he got three rainbow key spears. And I'm gonna save those rainbows for the next turn if he does manage to come back. But we're probably gonna take care of business either this turn or the next turn, so I have to wait for the next stage. But that was 1.2 mil. You guys were watching, pay attention. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that is so freaking insane. 2.4 million crit from a free-to-play unit. A free-to-play Piccolo hitting for 2.4 mil. And I was just saying how, you know, I, I think that Vegito Blue is still the best, but uh, man, I don't even know anymore. Okay, I'm gonna save all those all those strength orbs for um, Tapion to change, but I don't even know anymore, man, because, you know, Vegito Blue can hit very hard. Oh, no. Oh, man, okay, we're, we're gonna get the Dokkan attack off. I, I didn't want to get the Dokkan attack off, but it, it's happening, and there's nothing I can do about it now. Here we go. One, two, oh, three, four, five, six. I should not have missed that. That was super, super slow, but I'm not used to clicking it on a computer, so forgive me, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll do better next time. I'll do better next time. But what I was saying was that the Piccolo, even though he probably doesn't hit as hard on average as Vegito Blue, like LR Vegito Blue, that is, he, man, he just freaking has the healing. He has some tanking as well. I mean, Vegito Blue can tank too, but he has the healing. That, that's, the, that's the key thing. Piccolo can also heal while Vegito Blue can't. And I don't know if like having that heal actually gives him an advantage, that edge over Vegito Blue. I don't know. I, I, I have to think about it, but man, that, that this guy's just been so, so freaking impressive. And I'm not even just saying that because I want to hype the showcase or anything like that. Like, I'm already hyped enough. You guys are probably already hyped enough about uh, hyped enough about this guy because of how good he is. I'm just being straight up with you, just being completely honest. This Piccolo is absolutely nuts. He is absolutely insane. We got five key spheres in a row, five rainbow key spheres in a row again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice, guys. Um, I don't really care about getting these guys super soft, so so I'm just gonna do whatever. Here we go. Okay, Piccolo, give me another crit. Give me another crit. One mil over a mil. So on average, on on this team, he's gonna have over a million attack stat, no problem. Uh, how much attack? <laughs> he just tanked that for nine damage, and then tanked the other one that had type advantage on him for 997 damage. Guys, what else can I say? This guy is so freaking good. Oh my god, insanity, insanity. Okay. We're gonna finish out this cooler fight, and then I think we're just gonna call it a showcase because I think you guys have seen enough. You guys know how good this freaking Piccolo is. I don't have to sell him anymore. If you guys haven't grinded him yet, haven't really, you know, don't really know whether he's worth it, whether he's worth, you know, putting the effort to get his, um, you know, level to 140, get a super attack to 15, get him all completely duped out, full potential system, all those orbs, 100% worth it, guys. Get him to 100%, throw him on a Resurrected Warriors team, you will not regret it. He might, like, I mean, I haven't really thought about it too much, but is there a chance that he's optimal on Resurrected Warriors right now? I, I, it, it's definitely in play, guys. It's definitely in play. I'm not even, I'm not playing. Like, I'm serious. I, I think he might be in contention for being optimal on this team. <laughs> like, it's, it's just that good, man. That, that's wild, that's wild. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what he can do here. 79 damage tank. So uh, just absolutely stupid, stupid good tank. And his damage output, okay there, okay there. If he got a crit, it would have been, you know, 1.5 mil, something like that. And of course, with type advantage, he's gonna be doing stupid numbers. So far, the highest we've seen is 2.4 mil crit. Which, I, I don't know about you, but I am pretty damn impressed by. I am like really damn impressed by that. And also he tanks better than, than a lot of these units we have on this team right now. Obviously not as good as the tech Golden and Frieza, but not a lot of units tank as well as Golden and Frieza, right? But just as, as far as like his tanking goes, his, his attack goes, and he's got that friggin' bomb transformation and bomb super attack once he transforms. There's not many bad things you can say about this guy. There's not really not, nothing nothing bad you can say about him. He is just an all-rounded, really, really good free-to-play unit. Tanks. He, he, he hits hard. He heals you for a crap ton of HP. Yeah, just fantastic. Fantastic. I, there, there are no other adjectives I can use now. <laughs> he's, just, he's just really good. 
what can we do in terms of Ooh, we got to see this you got to see this transformation again really really cool use with nail okay okay can we get some more rainbows Ooh, okay one two three four i think that's gonna be the most we can get in this turn so we got four we also got the tapion link for the brainiacs we also got the uh 30 percent is a 30 percent boost from cooler so we should be able to expect some some solid solid numbers here let's see 1.38 mil and just really cool really cool super attack animation they're, they're doing such a good job with these supers these days okay 919k could be better could be worse it's actually really good uh tapion of course had that type of advantage so he hit for 1.2 mil damn Damn Tapion. It's gonna be a minute it's like a little bit of a showcase of the AGL the, the tech Tapion too, because you know if you have the Piccolo on this team, then you probably want the Tapion there as well for for the, the orb changing as well as the uh Brainiac link. So yeah, I mean <laughs> he, it's a showcase of him too. Like I'm trying to convince you guys to run both Tapion and Piccolo. I think Piccolo already spoke for himself. I don't think you need any more convincing for Piccolo. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, like whether like Piccolo is, you know, the best, or where do you think he ranks, basically? Where do you think he ranks as far as the best free-to-play units go? I think, I, uh, some people are going to give me like, like a lot of hate for this, I, I swear, but I, I'm, I'm still kind of debating about whether him or Vegito Blue are, are top, you know, like, because obviously Vegito Blue, just right off the bat, that seemed like the better option because of just how damn hard he tanks and how damn hard he hits. But Piccolo's got the transformation and the healing, man. And I think that, you know, that those two factors combined, I think do, you know, make it a little bit more of a question about whether it's him or Vegito Blue as the best free play units. But yo, anyways, let me know in the comments down below. I think it's still Vegito Blue, but if you have a different opinion or something like that, or maybe you think it's LR Metal Cooler. I don't, I don't really know how good LR Metal Cooler is. I've just heard he's good, but I haven't really tested him out or played with him at all. So that's going to be something that I can't personally answer at the moment. All I know is that Piccolo is just a stupid, stupid good unit, man, and I think Bandai is just doing a really good job with these free-to-play units recently. In the past, when we got free-to-play units, they've always been kind of, you know, gimmicky or just like had one niche that they were good at. For example, you know, actually, I don't want to get these guys supers off. Uh, can we, can we not do that? Can we, oh man, is there a way for me to get one more turn out of this joke? I don't think so. I think, I think we have to, okay, actually, we can get this guy's. Get this, get this guy to not super, and then he will have to super. And of course, actually, why don't I change um, blue spheres to red? Actually, so green to blue. And then, then we'll do blue to red. So that next turn, we can have a ton. Just a ton of rainbow spheres for our boy. And okay, there we go. So yeah, hopefully we don't kill him this turn. Actually, I think Frieza still might. I think Golden Frieza, like the tech one, still might kill him. I think I just wasted all that effort changing the spheres for nothing. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. If maybe by some miracle he doesn't crit and he doesn't do enough damage to actually take out Cooler. That'd be fantastic. Can you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Our, player, our prayers were answered. <laughs> Thank you, Arn Jesus. Thank you to the Dokkan gods. Here we go. Our final, final attack of this showcase with the AGL Piccolo. You guys know just how stupid good he is. Oh, wow, we actually can't get a full thing of rainbows. That's strange and very disappointing. But you know what? Okay, we're gonna end it off with four rainbow spheres. Still gonna do a good amount of damage. Still gonna take um, <laughs> Cooler's ass out. And man, guys, I'm impressed. I, I, let's see how much he takes this for. It shouldn't be over, tw oh wow, 81K. Okay, well, I guess Cooler's a beast. <laughs> but as much of a beast he is, Piccolo's more of a beast. Goodbye, Cooler. Have a nice day. 655k. We're going to call it a day. Wow, that rhymed. I'm, I'm a rapper. You guys know I'm a rapper? <laughs> Just kidding. But okay, I'm going to abandon Quest. I'm going to call it here. Guys, that is the showcase for the AGL Piccolo. He is just dumb good like i don't know what else to say make sure you guys go grind him out if you haven't yet make sure that you give him the justice that he deserves and also he just looks dope like it's been it's been a while since we could have we, we've been able to get excited for a piccolo card 
LR Piccolo, I think, was the last most hyped Piccolo card, and that was ages ago. So now we have this guy. He's completely free to play. Thank you to Bandai. Thank you to Akatsuki. I really appreciate them giving us all these fire-ass free-to-play units. Anyways, guys, that's going to be doing it for the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this Piccolo. And also, also, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button if you like what you see. And that's all for me today, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.